lane it, it does seem like a game where pl can take over if he doesn't get contested or pressured early on to me mm -hmm. yeah. when it when it back on the bat dubu and Bryle she'll crash forward whisper dropping low looks like he'll slip behind the trees and fairy fire up as gojira battle is, is he into dj he's got the tag team going but he loses his life first blood dropped and whisper the penitence and the crypt swarm he's being chased down again by Bryle another shield Tomato. crash is available they should be able to close the gap here on him with a phantom last to secure it two kills go to fanatic yeah, good toss bat there from uh, Tiny. <laughs> he did manage to get one immediately in and... Wave ahead and has another wave incoming. And this is a lane where we haven't really seen the supports come to guard the water runes or defend bounty runes either. It really has been 2-1-2 two -two for the first five minutes. No one really rotating as Stinger jabs, gives him the siphon, DJ. Oh. Help finish him off, and now an avalanche. A move forward onto K1 if they can kill off the troll. This Another crypt swarm is ready. Body blocks from DJ stop there as the crypt swarm gets jabs the double. Oh, I feel like they needed to invest more in region in this bottom lane because they had none. There's a ring of health on troll, but looking at Wyvern's items, nothing. Where, where's the courier at? Just in base, not uh, bringing any. See Smile in the mid lane, thinking about the kisses, and here they come. Brawl oh. will try to TP out, but can't ooh, do that. that's a bit too late. You can't TP out in front of Sea Smile like that. Hits level six, gets the kill. Needed one CS to be able to get. Is, is, is he all right in this one to pick up the pieces? Considering that uh, he is playing into Phantom Lancer lane, he's doing okay. Uh, also, in terms of levels, he's level six and a half, does have Flaming Lasso. Oh, cheeky. From Dubu comes bottom. Can they land the stuns from the ogres? Nah. K1 still gonna die to the spirit siphon and ghost though as Stinger. Under his tier one. Dubu TP'd Bot recalled his creeps down as up at top lane. Tomato dying to whisper. This is huge for the bat. Getting the solo kill, realizing that they have moved three heroes bottom. He was saving a point for Flaming Lasso. If he can find an opening, so both carries dying. Uh, difference is Fnatic will be able to kill this. I don't think you defend this tower. This tower is oh, gone. No. It's, it's gone. Yeah, exorcism used to perfection. Kill the carry, kill the tower. And these these ogres, well, they're pretty tanky beasts. And the bruisers coming into play from Dubu. Kind of difficult to land the stuns onto heroes, but they're pretty good farming and clearing out small camps. And Stinger, he does get found by DJ and Jabs again. Pummeling the wyvern into the ground while Sea Smile picked off by Tomato's rotation. The roaming PL. Roaming PL going for Hand of Midas. <laughs> Take notes, chat, because about like he doesn't need to join. One of the reasons why he is going for Hand of Midas because he feels the rest of the team is doing good, really good, and the Jabs is going for BKB after Power Treads and Double Null. Super tanky. Well, Gojira, he gets cookied forward onto DJ. Try and pick off this tiny as Jabs fighting back with the ghosts and the siphon. Sea smiles, kisses, not gonna land, they're too close in front of him. The turnaround from Fnatic as Beast Coast launched their aggression and gets shut down immediately. I still, uh, if that was not changed, you can still use Snapfire ulti. Last time I tested it was like a month ago. If you click on the port self portrait yeah. on top, you're gonna be able to get the kisses like right on top of you. Kajira. Top of yourself. Tiny oh, damage. They don't even need tiny. Yeah, no stuns required. Just get the kill and a bottle refill as well from Bri uh, from the tiny onto Brile. Dubu going for a bit of a different build on Chen. I guess because he did get that first blood. Cookie connects. Yeah, can they finish him off though? Oh, but the toss He's back. He's got the backup. He's got the toss back into tower. Sea smile, slap down, swashbuckle from Brile. Find another one. And Fnatic on a roll. DJ really on point with these rotations. Also finds the best item you can. Oh, one of yeah. the... It's Orb of Corrosion. What, what's next for him? Is it utility Standard or is it damage? Standard the Blade. Okay. You want to be able to burn mana, have an extra kill potential. It's a setup for your roll. Another layer off slow. DJ, he looks uh, really dead here. There's uh, way too much slow coming out from these two heroes. Oh, he's trying to make them really work for it. Even pops his stick at the end. And Gojira did die up top, so a trade for Fnatic nonetheless. If you look at Troll's mana pool, he does not have mana, so one Diffusal Blade. Especially in this type of game, as Bryle gets eyed up. They've found the DJ Tiny. 
And a Winter's Curse towards Jabs. Moves Bryle into position there, but the Hand of God heals them up. The Kiss is landing onto the Death Prophet, zoning away Fnatic, but they've found another target. Further up the ramp, they look towards the Tusk and pick off Gojira. Oh, the toss forward. Flying Death Prophet. The Holy Hand Grenade of DJ comes straight in towards Whisper. They kill the two supports, and Fnatic, this is the ability of their squad. They can even you know, chip away at this Tier 2, make a bit of a push. And it looks like they're swinging in towards mid, though. They don't want Tier 2, that's too difficult. Mid lane tower, far more useful for them to grab. Snapfire ulti is their biggest damage, and if they don't get the kill during it, the Beast Ghost definitely will suffer. We see the power of mech on Chen, oh. and also Hand of God. Against the lasso, even if the cookie missed, but DJ, right start from Centaur. Right time, yet again, Centaur slow them down. Jabs looks like he's still going to die, but this is fine. Beast Coast defend their tier one mid. Force Fnatic back. Bryle going to try and roll, but the cookie slows and stops him in his tracks. His shield crashes over, but that's 90% he's damage so reduction. Tanky. They can't finish him off just yet. K1. Five man shield crash. Good trying luck. To, trying to net him up, but he just takes no damage. He's in the shards now, rolling, bouncing around. DJ the next target for Beast Coast. K1 can't give chase though. Fnatic are toying with them. They've got the crashing, rolling thunder in towards them. That and was Beast beautiful. Ghost. Five man shield crash. Literally keep Fnatic at bay. Hide away in the trees. And the aggression from Fnatic now really coming into play as they dive over the shards, they blow up Gojira. A few more hits should do the job here, as Stinger also in trouble. Bryle wraps around the long way. Avalanche tossed to secure the kill, and Bryle on a mega kill streak. Two Diffusal Blades coming in clutch now, so that's going to be 160 mana burn per swan. No damage, as he rolls into Sea Smile. Also, I think he's thinking one step ahead. He thinks that Pango will be causing problems with his lucky shot, and then he won't be able to deal damage, so Aghanim Scepter will be able to dispel him. They've caught Lasso. out Bryle. The lasso and the kisses, but look at the heal. Hand of God on the Mac. No, oh, not nicely enough. done. Bryle is chain stunned and his streak broken. This Whisper. time around, He Kajira. wants another. Dubu, he gets cookied on. Whisper and Sea Smile close the gap, and Whisper with a double kill. Pulling Beast Coast back into the game. Kajira had enough of these shenanigans, uh, uses Volrus Punch, uh, mid shield crash does not allow him to connect and get the damage reduction. Beautifully done. DJ with a toss back though. Timado is here, ready to play as Gojira under the avalanche nearly just dies. But the focus is on Whisper. Can't keep going with two heroes down. And K1, he's joining the fray with a battle trance. He wants to defeat Jabs. What a useless ulti, look at this. He's stopped by a centaur, he's gonna die? K1 joins the fight, but he doesn't have anybody to back him up. This ulti seriously needs a rework. Like, why are you not allowed to control? Right now, ready to go with Exo, BKB on the DP, Chen army ready. Roshan probably in their sights. Would like a kill in a team fight first. Maybe if they can catch out Stinger or one of these Beast Coast supports. But they're beelining straight to mid. Avalanche toss, catching Sea Smile. They'll use the XO, Sea Smile, BKBs, and TPs. Not successful though, while Tomato also hunted Stinger all the way towards that Radiant Triangle. And that's what we mentioned, They, them having enough damage that you end the game. Looking gangster, sitting outside the Roche pit, not allowing anyone to get in. Uh, Whisper tried to go in, but he's tossed back into the middle of all of this noise. Just get his BKB off. Gojira with a snowball, lasso onto Jabs. They've battle trance and aggressively played into the DP. Bryle now, maybe in a bit of trouble as he's rooted up and killed off by K1. The troll going wild. Gets a double kill on K1, even though Fnatic are the ones to grab the Aegis. Beast Coast strike back. Beast Coast understanding that without the Death Prophet to pivot into a team fight victory as they get the jump on Bryle. Can he get out with a little ball up and a rolling thunder? No, he's lassoed now. K1 silence, trying to focus Dubu, but the Yule's into the sky, sent into the air, and K1 can't Oh, do anything. it's on illusion. The curse on illusions. Gojira dies in the back. Finally, Beast Coast get a kill. Chen will fall, but Winter Wyvern being pummeled by Bryle and Fnatic, they hold their line. Keep the Aegis, kill two Beast Coast supports, and they're hunting for K1 now. Toss back into Jabs. Into the Caspult waves arriving. One down at that bottom tier two. Oh, Whisper. He's in mid. Lasso's up DJ. K1 
Can they even kill the Tiny? He's so incredibly tanky. And the Hurricane away from the Firefly gives him the safety he needs. The Winter's Curse required from Stinger just to kill the position four. K1, he's gone in, surrounded by PL Illusions and charging forward. Very bullish move from K1 to try and hunt down the PL. Nice cookie in. Walrus Punch two. They've got him. They, they kill the PL. Kill K1 using that battle trends just to get some extra attack speed. And now they're Does on not have a BKB. In comes Bryl. They know that K1 spent everything he's got. Can he disengage with a cookie back? Maybe to the high ground he'll go. Stinger's out of gas though. And Whisper can't save his mate. The Rolling Thunder connects and K1 drops. It looked good from Beast Coast, but Fnatic showing that they can fight back even with their carry down. Stinger's out of mana completely. DJ is in there again. Avalanche toss, Fate Grenade forward. Stinger stuck in the trees while Sea Smile, he can't connect. The Yules to save Jabs will get away from Whisper and Sea Smile. Well, Combos, you know, th three shield crashes and four swashbuckles. The Dire team are spamming out multiple rounds of spells, and usually we'd see a couple of cold embraces, but there weren't any in that fight because he was out of mana. We didn't see too many snowballs and shards because Tusk is, is rolling in, dying immediately, but out of mana. And here, Gojira caught again. Out of life, yeah. Tiny and Bryle find yet another pickoff. Whisper did pick up Bongo Boots, so they're not going to be able to slow them down with the shield crashes, with the Penitence and even Spirit Lances, so that's oh. a really good pickup if they want to disengage. DJ. DJ finds another one. There's a Wild Wing up on top of the high ground for Gets some reason. Gets Fade Grenade for extra vision. Keep tabs on Stinger. And Timado secures another one. Why, why is the Wild Wing up there? He's, he's got an Observer Ward already. Just a target to toss people to. <laughs> Can he hurricane himself? Not sure. Uh, I think you can. Probably I, I can, think right? you can, yeah. Let's, let's see if let's he see. does it. Hurricane, hurricane to low ground. Don't worry. He's flapping his wings, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess that's how he got up there. Hurricane up, hurricane down. Oh, K K1. K1, what are you doing out here? Oh, he's going to get the root in onto the pango. He, he was baiting. He was baiting that again. That's what K1's doing. Finds a turn on the Chen now. Dubu cleared up and Troll with a double kill chasing for more. This is where Beast Coast really are at their strongest. Mid-game team fight, find a couple of pickoffs and keep hunting for those additional targets. DJ will get a toss back, but he's dead to Whisper's back. This is the only target that they, they should not go for. K1, a bit uh, too difficult to hell. The kill having the doubt. He sees it. He has Jabs. the It's already picked up, look. K1 gets the Aegis. Shard over to see Smile. The dive in, looking for the kill, but the Winner's Curse, a good one this time. K1, thinking about turning and fighting, has the Battle Trance to bash into Jabs. The damage is good, but the Yules is better. Buys a bit of time to get Jabs out, but he's still gonna fall. The Scatter Blast and Beast goes standing their ground. Look for Tomato with a stun. Needs a doppelganger to try and slip away from this. Retreats northwards, but Whisper and see Smile, they're chasing him back. They're finding the PL, but the Rolling Thunder connecting on the snap. Needs that cold embrace to keep him alive. While a snowball towards the oh, check gets a double. away. And Broil with a double. Make One it triple. Buckle gets him two, and another finish on Gojira. Oh man, Fnatic uh, still going inside the Roche pit and taking that fight, uh, knowing that the... Uh, and Exo, both used by Fnatic. They see them. Little surprised. And they jump Schofield again. DJ seems to have his number. And a four staff away will make this snowball follow him over the shards up to high ground while Bryle is causing chaos in the back lines. Trying to chase in towards Stinger and Sea Smile while Gojira does die finally. Bryle still rolling towards them but cursed up now. Yules on the troll. Holds him in place for a sec. The lasso comes and K1 opens up. Unleashes on Bryle. J Jab's going to be the next target of choice. They've got the axes, but the Lotus Orb returns the snowball back towards them and the toss to the high ground. K1 stuck now. What can he do? He can't get he can't down. Do anything. He's surrounded by Fnatic now. Kills off a ward, but they're just going to poke and prod at him. South American Arteezy stuck. He can't move. Eventually, he's going to die. They, they need some kind of a force staff. They need to help him out. A beast goes to be saving like, Prod oh, There it is. There's a cookie. Playing as him. They do get him down at long last. Doesn't have BKB, but he has the battle trance. Still dropping low as he's small. Shredded by Tomato. K1 about to die as well. Yeah, silence no BKB, kill. this long duration silence from that Prophet, and uh, they also did use uh, two buybacks. I like that Bryle had a very good read on this full play, potentially. Big shards. He absolutely will. Which shard? Beast Coast. K1 spider legs up to high ground. 
Whisper, Fireflies, K1 getting isolated by Tomato and Jabs, though, and they've got that Abyssal Blade through the BKB. Whisper has so much physical damage coming his way, he can't stand a chance. They do catch out Jabs with a Yule Scepter. Once again, defensive tool, beautifully used, tossing up K1 and killing the Troll. DJ's there to set up for Fnatic Troll does for not victory. have a buyback. There's no way now for Beast Coast. C Smile will try and get oh, out. Oh, he gets the bash. He used to be called Chris Luck, but the luck is in the hands of Broil. Getting the bash to stop him in his tracks. And with four heroes down now, they'll lose Stinger and very likely lose the game as Fnatic ready themselves for Roche. Prep for the push to high ground. PL very the troll and force him back. And DJ with another Avatos. Stinger down to half HP. Glimmer caped up. Lasso there, but Lotus all back. They can't move. Whispers. He does trapped. have cheese. Can he get it off? Yes, he, he can. can. K1's in. He's got the bash onto the DP, but he can't stick on this tomato PL. The Phantom Lance are doing too much against the Batrider now. Dives in, kills off Whisper. K1 being burst down as well by the Ghosts. They're all dead as Stinger is the last one standing after buying back. But Fnatic, the ones to secure the victory here in game number one. Man, what a performance. They they definitely... For whatever hero they feel like is best for the game and just farm it up. I was about to say, Jug is still in the pool. And I love this hero this tournament. People playing with the Maelstrom Shard, it's so good. It's so high damage, yeah, so high magical, underworld. and you're just like, you get so much move speed, you're able... Gary, it, it might be position. one of the options. He's getting levels, he's level 5, so he will be able to farm the jungle efficiently. K1, good body blocks here. Yeah, the Treant's right in front of him and a snowball there. Grab first blood for jabs. Able to take down that Chaos Knight and get themselves something out of this laning stage as they were really... The top lane, Vesper, he's destroying this matchup, going into Spirit Vessel next, so the healing and oh, also DJ. the overtime damage, good shards. Yeah, but he's trapped himself inside. Gojira's gonna be able to toss him back in towards Stinger, Snowball and the TP from Profit. He sat at 120 HP, but Gojira's the first one to die. DJ will finally drop, but now with the Treants and a move forward from Jabs, Chip away at the edge while C Smile against the Ember Spirit's Arcane Rune taking as Broil with a Tusk Sap behind him, just giving these defensive layers to the mid laners in case they do get roamed upon. Gojira gonna combo down the Warlock, holds the toss until the last moment to allow Whisper to come in with a bit more nuke damage, even coils him up. And got the leash on the jug, but the Omni Slash slicing through Gojira now gets the trade one for one. Mid lane, see Smile. Oh, he's taken down by DJ and Bryle. This is a kill that they needed, and also another active rune for yeah. Bryle, so he's getting back into the game. Oh, look at that, Medal. To be so. Outnumbering opponents. Nature's Prophet did use his Rat of Nature, didn't get the kill. Still, steady 2k gold lead for Beast Coast. Right, a toss Gojira back, though. finds one. And Beast Coast still able to play as a group. Sprouted up, Jabs. Gonna get Avalanche and taken down by the Hellbear Smasher. Uh, some big fatal bonds from Dubu, but no follow through. He's been isolated, picked off. I see Smile claims another kill. Bryle's come in from the back. Gojira with another toss, but he's changed up. DJ walks it back. And we've got both the fatal bonds and the searing chains to latch onto people. But three charges yeah. next out. He does have Road of Atos, so potentially some uh, solo pickoffs even from Underlord. Yeah. It's his damage is nuts. 90 bonus damage if he's going to find jabs here. And he's waiting on the low ground. Oh, yeah, he's waiting for Whisper to come in. Spirit Vessel, two man pit, coil him up, so no snowball save. Great move in from Beast Coast, giving oh, a double kill. That's a late rock. They need to get something out of this. He drops the golem on them. Tomato will spin in, and they've caught out C Smile with the chains, but a toss across will throw the Ember away. And this Underlord, he's perfectly fine. His ability is coming back up, and Broil, he's dying. Triple kill for C Smile now. Oh, they they root up the another warlock, one. Catch them with a root, strap him inside the Pit of Malice, and slay the Warlock. Whoa. An ultra kill for the Underlord. He has almost 500 damage. That's not, the, these are the fights that they need to take because they have a lot of control. With He's uh, like, oh, I'm going to go minutes into the game. Also forcing Ember Spirit to get the first item BKB means that his damage output is going to be very limited, but he needs to get it. There's a couple of root mechanics and also playing against Puck, so wants to be able to defend himself. And they've caught out Jabs. They came down here to try and kill Gojira. But it's Jabs to die in the coil. It's there and onto the Ember Spirit. A decent Fatal Bonds with a Golem from Dubu. Snowball back in, DJ turning this into a proper fight, but Fnatic looking for the reset. 
don't want to get embroiled in this long drawn out battle because we Another have this extra pit. pit the chase in from k1 and whisper fanatic are crumbling beast coast have their number raw aggression from the south american squad and 350 bonus damage stacked up again as dj was lurking there was a game where Jabs played Nature's Prophet, did buy a lot of time for his team. It's very difficult right now. This is Nature's Prophet that's trying to buy his shard. Doesn't have a BKB, so can't protect himself against the Underlord rotations. Puck can't solo kill him, as we've seen. And speaking everywhere. of solo kills, Whisper did get another one of oh, Dubu. It's everywhere on the map, Lacoste. They go on Gojira bottom, he survives, they kill Dubu in triangle, Broil up at top. Everywhere you look, Beast Coast are either getting kills or dodging ganks. Fnatic is all about buying time. They, they're they not going to be able to team fight against Beast Coast for 20 minutes. I'm not uh, over-exaggerating. It's just, By 20 minutes, that might be end game and also pause in between game two and three. And you're talking about buying time, Gojira. He's buying so much time, tossing around DJ while Tomato does spin on Whisper. That's a big a kill. Huge kill if they can get it, but the Essence Ring, the phase shift, maybe a maneuver out of here. Can he jump out of danger? Whisper gets the kill, gonna jaunt to the orb as well. The outplays are glorious, and, look at the top and they're lane. pushing high ground too! 175 oh. on under on the edge. A sea smile. The Underlord plants himself in front of the enemy base. Go on then. Have a go. Timardo. Static charge from the Mjolnir. Doing a little bit of damage as Whisper dives straight in onto Dubu and DJ. They've got the healing ward out, K1 being spun at, but a tanky CK, not Does the target they can we'll pop it. Jab's gonna get dragged around and killed off. CK with that BKB just opens up. And it's mid lane of Barracks with a toss back, Brawl has the BKB himself. Fnatic using and wasting so many cooldowns just to stay alive a little bit longer. And now the dive, in onto Brile. They'll find the Ember Spirit, silenced and killed, and even with a Dubu rock dropped in, Sea Smile will finally die to the Omni Slash of the Juggernaut. Buybacks galore from Fnatic now, but oh, Sea Smile returns Jabs as trying well. to get in. Yeah, he they was trying to get into Fiend's Gate. They got Jabs and they're diving for more. Sea Smile is respawned, comes back in, and surely it's got to be game over now. They will call cool. it. What a draft from Beast Coast. Uh, they did some, you know, shenanigans in game one. But people will say classic Beast Coast. Cla uh, comfort heroes. I think in a game three like this, like uh, Magnus' hero whisper is very comfortable on. Face the light. Dawn mid? Huh. I, I, mark? I, or, permit, I, I mean, Viper mid? mid? I feel like it's fine. And looking at the lane setup, seems like it's going to be a uh, stinker. Oh. Well, that's no way you want to be as Gojira. Up the staircase, Fisher it off, and first blood picked up by Dubu's Dazzle. Same as game number one, Dubu managing to get the first blood, and we saw what happens. Him being able to scale as Chen will pick up Magic Stick and Dawnbreaker as level six available if they find an opening. Yeah, DJ steals the bounty bottom, Gojira grabs the one top. Haste rune denied by Dubu, but Laguna bladed, he's still got the grave, and on low HP, he'll get it off. Saves himself Sick. with the avalanche, the move in from Gojira under tower, tosses across Bryle into Dubu. Raindrop keeping him alive. One more hit from Sea Smile, finally oh, gets the Oh, Bryle could have saved him if he used the bottle charge. Oh wait, Whisper? Uh, he's, he's killed off the PL. CK comes top. And Bye, then, and then you say it. Uh, it's gonna he didn't be, have it queued, to be fair. It's going to be Boots of Travel in the end. Uh, so, different build for Lina's. Gojira looks uh, very dead here. Does have a TP, but against Earthshaker might be a bit too difficult. Uh, there's Ooh. also a Dawnbreaker ulti that a can come through. Solar Guardian. Bryle comes in to get some of that XP back. The two-man RP. Whisper helped out to kill DJ in the back as Stinger arrives. A skewer across, but Whisper, he needs more, buyback from he Tiny. Needs more help, he needs more friends. The buyback from Tiny is going to come in and maybe help Stinger get a couple more kills here. The return battle from Beast Coast, picking up the Dawn and the Viper. Gojira buying back, stealing triple kill from Stinger. This is... <laughs> back not too long ago, so this death. This is going to be 40 seconds, uh, 45 seconds potentially for Tiny. Put him on the sidelines for a long old time, but the toss back. Gives him a bit of room to maneuver. Enchant toads him and the Echo Slam, but he pops the stick. Avalanche comes. Gojira, he's on the run. Does have a Fisher. He's got the Fisher, lines it up. Dead for 55. 55. All right, I'm really bad at math. Oh, I didn't expect that much. Nearly a minute without your Tiny now. This is where you start pinging your team's items. 
Because you have nothing better to do. Skewer back. Skewer back into Grave immediately. Straight off the bat. Dubu saves himself. And Bryle, Solar Guardian to kill off Stinger. See Smile being run at by the Dawn and the Earthshaker, but they're back behind their tower, safe and sound. That's all noise on the map here from Beast. Having an extra way to close the gap, but might be better on Magnus this time around. Yeah, they might swap it out a little bit later on. We'll see what they do with that. As Fnatic, maybe, you know, un under the cost here a little bit with Beast Coast pressure. Now the Reality Rift is ready. Broyle getting picked up up top. They've got the Fissure from DJ. Jabs trying to slow them with the poison attacks, but Beast Coast look like they're out of there. While well, C Smile gets the pick off on Dubu. Kills off the tower as well. On every lane here, Beast Coast playing multiple angles. You know. that, that Phantom Lance effect, they were about 2, 3k ahead. Get a couple of towers, get a couple of kills. Now 5k is their net worth lead as they spot DJ. Fisher onto 2 will hold them back, but look at Gojira's positioning. Able to wrap around and find the tiny combo. Light Striker Ray trying Crosses to save him out. with a Solar Guardian, but he's already dead. Coming on to Gojira. Tomato joins the fight. The sleep there. Finding the Viper. Jabs dying to the Sea Smile. BKB Lena unloading the long range right click attacks. And Tomato, well, chasing forward, but clipped by the Light Striker. RP's still available. With another stomp, and you're really finding Tomato. Oh, it was so close with that Light Striker Ray, but Tomato very quick on his feet to sidestep it. This should reveal the word. The way he moved on the high ground with Phantom Lancer, with the Phantom Rush, should mean that there's some kind of vision in Triangle. Now they should know, it's Bryle. And he's picked off in the mid lane, finding Earthshaker in the back as well. See Smile, rips him apart, pops the BKB, the Grave from Dubu will only delay the inevitable death of this Dazzle. Caught in the trees and a double for Sea Smile. 15 to eight with a 10K lead, 20 minutes in. They are cruising. Seven, oh and oh. Coming out of this river. He really is a monster from the depths. Tiny is hunting for them, spotted a couple on the retreat, and Beast Coast smoking into their vision. Seeing DJ forcing him back, RP Solo onto the Viper, toss back in, Tomato low, and Laguna Blade kills off Dubu. See Smile turns on his BKB, focusing the Phantom Lancer, but Tomato's out of there. Jabs and Bryle now the target right of choice. From Lina. Try and blow up this Viper and get a double kill while K1 backstabs into the retreating lines of Fnatic. Their formation broken, morale in the dumps, and a triple for Sea Smile as Beast Coast looking to claim this victory. Fights are very, very difficult for Fnatic. Uh, they, they can't find and they, go. they found another one. Whispers on DJ now. He might die to the PL Illusions, but getting that Earthshaker and an ultra kill for Sea Smile's Lena. <laughs> Two Illusion heroes battling against each other. Sea Smile tries to go for initiation with the blink deck. Okay, one. He's in with his BKB on jabs. Solar Guardian from Bryle. Bullying back, Beast Coast, the oh! he comes in with the RP, great there missing. onto Jabs, but he's still being slapped around by K1, see Smile, but no BKB up, Laguna Blade's out, but he's gonna drop, Fnatic fighting back and able to take down the big target on Beast Coast. Earthshaker gets the kill there, so that's a thousand gold for him, oh manages God. to pick. I don't think Beast Coast can stop this though. Dubu's Here I think about going in. Maybe they can make a jump to steal. They're waiting. Pass the Crimson. The move on in. Gojira stunned up by the Fisher. Roshan nearly dead. The Tiny is the RP. Whisper catches three. Skewers them back into the stomp and the move in. K1's respawn and he's battling it. Bryle gonna fall here even after the grave while C Smile trying to open it up. But Phantom Lancer got the Roche, got the Aegis, and Fnatic, they bail. He got out. Uh, that was a nice try there from Horn Toss. I mean, what, what was the ET shard? The Echo Stomp jump. Put it on auto cast and move yourself around. Beast Coast. Thinking about high ground again, though. Nether Toxin and Fisher with that Aftershock shard. Super good to delay this push, but the skewer back and the drag in. Reality Rift. Another displacement tool that Beast Coast are utilizing very well. Might be forcing the buyback out of the Earthshaker at this point, too. Dead for 40 seconds and a catapult wave, making short work of the tier three. K1 in with Whisper, jumping once more. This time on the jabs, they found an isolated the Viper, trying to focus him down. Damage. Smile. They've killed him off. He's dead without buyback and a toss back, saving C Smile. Tomato and Broyle, they want to chase this. Find any stragglers, look for some kills. C Smile's left alone. Life strike array and the movement speed. He's got have Shadow Blade in a second. Gojira with the avalanche, the Shadow Blade, but in goes DJ. Echo slam to kill off two. 
That's a turnaround. Uh, DJ did manage to use his buyback and finds a good opening. Uh, I think the Grave landed on one of the PL illusions. Oh, did it? Instead of it means Fnatic have another window back into the game with his Tomato Phantom Lancer. And the Solar Guardian from Bryl brings him into the middle of the fight. Slept up and dragged under tier two, but he's got his BKB to try and run back. Oh, this great one? RP. RP in. They've caught the Dazzle and the PL. No grave comes. Tomato has to double ganger back, but Bryl being focused down by Gojira. Gets over the Fisher. Gojira going to turn here onto the PL. He's isolated. Doppelganger buys him space and time as jabs. BKB'd up, but can't stand his ground against the Sea Small Lena. Whisper. Shuffling forward, Skewer and Force Staff looking for Timado. Brial TP's home. Be looking to get that Skewer back. It's all in the back of Timado. Timado and DJ, they need the biggest blink echo of his life. No Brial for 35 seconds. Tier 3 open, toss back jabs. Send him into the Lena's damage. He's being dragged and drifted all the way across the map while Dubu blown up by the Lena, dead with buyback but jabs. Following him into the grave, they can return these two heroes onto the map. But if they do, what what would they even accomplish without your Dawnbreaker? You can't really fight anymore. And Mega Creeps are extended. Roshan from Fnatic now leaves Tomato and Bryle open to initiation. Beast Coast, 20 seconds still with no Lena. But the jump in the pit is an, a real. Jira made the slots already. He got the Aegis. He gets it. Steals the Aegis and Bryle. Shredded by K1. Tim Otto. He's fighting Gojira now. They'll kill off the tiny. He's still not dead. Oh, uh, will Gojira. die eventually. Dies to the damage over time while Stinger caught out with the stuns of DJ. But Jabs forced to BKB and K1. He smile wants to go for Mega run. Creeps. He's up on that top lane. Killing off the final barracks. He's going to wrap around in behind. Oh, dusted up. See, smile. He's open up on Jabs. Huge damage onto the Viper as they land in with a Solar Guardian. But for nothing. They've been backstabbed in. The Echo Slam's good. They find the kill. They get both Whisper and C Smile, and they're not down. Now it's time to strike. Get into K1. Tomato's Phantom Lancer. This is where he shines. Late game chaotic team fights. No Lena, no Magnus. K1 hexed up. Turned into a piggy. They're going to try and barbecue him here as K1 is hunted down with a Fisher blocking him in. Fnatic will surround him and the Centaur coming in clutch as well. Stops up the CK and kills him off. Oh, look at the base. There's three waves approaching. They need to do something about this. So CK dead, Lina dead, and bonk it on the head, as the panel would say. As they do get in on top of Bryle, but he's four staffed away. Beast Coast keeping all of these lanes in the dire base, though. And an RP jumping onto Jabs. See Small there towards the Viper. There's the Grave. The Grave comes in time. Buys a bit of space for Jabs now to turn onto Stinger. The RP again. Whisper. He's on three of them. And K1 cleaving in. See Small shreds through the PL. And for that's it. now. There is no, no buyback. Remaining. One buyback from the Viper, but that's got to be game. Fnatic, so close, and K1 drops the four RTZ. Arturito, saved up by Beast Coast. Oh, man. Right.